Welcome to the Eczema Warrior Podcast. I'm your host, Julia Chen. I'm here to help you heal your eczema naturally so you can finally live your best damn life. Many years ago in my own eczema healing journey, I was stuck and confused on how to heal my skin. Fast forward to today, after many lessons learned and lots of trial and error, I'm now living my best life and traveling the world with clearer skin. If you're an eczema or TSW warrior who desires a life of food freedom and is wanting to heal your skin without steroids while using mindset and manifestation as a tool, you're in the right place. Now let's get into it. Hello, my sweet angels. Welcome to another episode of the Eczema Warrior Podcast. In today's episode, I thought I would talk a little bit about me, which I don't usually do. But a lot of you have been asking me how to manifest, what is your manifestation routine, and some of you have commented on my stories over the past few weeks asking about how I manifested certain things in my life. So I thought I would share with you in today's short little episode on my manifestation routine. So if you want to learn all about that and my manifestation tips, then make sure you stay until the very end. Okay, quick life update. As this podcast episode is being released, I am actually in the middle of the ocean. I am on a cruise. I'm so excited for this cruise. And I'm not there right now because this episode is being recorded before I'm on the cruise, but I'm on the cruise as this podcast episode is being released. And I'm excited. We're going all around Europe to different cities and countries. And yeah, it's going to be a 10-day trip. I'm so excited to share with you guys in the next podcast episode. So definitely stay tuned for that. Okay, let's just get straight into the episode today. So manifestation, why is it so important? First of all, as you guys know, manifestation has literally changed my life. I've manifested so many things on my vision board that I created many years ago. It has honestly been such a game changer on my overall life and how I see things. And I just can't wait to share with you my routine. So what does my manifestation routine look like? Now, before I share with you guys, I just want to let you know, this is my own personal routine. It's not something that you have to implement for manifestation to work. You can definitely find your own methods when it comes to what works best for you. But I feel the most aligned when I have this kind of routine, which I'll talk about why alignment is very important. So my manifestation routine, when I wake up in the morning, after I've brushed my teeth, after I've changed, you know, the usual morning stuff, what I'll do is I like to take out my journal and I grab myself a nice cup of coffee, espresso, of course, and then I will start to manifestation script. Now, the reason why I do manifestation scripting or any kind of manifestation first thing in the morning is because your subconscious mind is the most active during this time. And for your manifestations to come into fruition, you want to make sure that you find the most ideal time to manifest, which is first thing in the morning when your subconscious mind is more active or in the evening as well. Now, that being said, if you don't have time in the morning or in the evening, you can still manifest at any time of the day. I just found that for me, I love doing in the morning. I feel the most aligned. I feel best when I do this in the morning. So number one, I do my manifestation scripting. And if you guys haven't heard me talk about manifestation scripting, it's basically writing down your goals and desires as if you've already achieved them. So what I'll do is I'll write them either in present tense or past tense. And how I usually do this is I play some manifestation music or any kind of positive energy manifestation vibes. And I put my ear pods in and I just start writing. And when I'm writing, there's no like structure or anything. And sometimes it'll sound grammatically incorrect (laughs) or it'll just not make sense and that's totally fine you do not have to be perfect when it comes to scripting you just basically write down everything as if you achieve them and I'll do this up until I run out of the goals and desires I'm trying to achieve so usually when I script it's about like one to two pages sometimes it even goes three pages depending on how bold and far I want to go 
Other times, if I'm trying to just manifest something like more recent, for example, like let's say I'm trying to manifest a a plane ticket or like a room upgrade at a hotel that's coming up in the next week. So I'll script about that versus if I were to manifestation script about like a big goal of mine, like let's say I want to like have a beautiful house by the ocean, like blah, 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 things like that. That's something that obviously will take time, lots of time to achieve. So it's something that I'll practice regularly or I'll script regularly versus another situation where it's more recent, if that makes sense. So as I am manifestation scripting, it's also really important for me to feel what it's like to have those things. And a lot of times people don't realize that manifestation isn't just about scripting and like sitting there and like thinking about it. It's actually like how you feel and your emotions and your cells have to believe that this is what you can achieve because you literally have trillions and trillions of cells in your body and they all create some kind of voltage or energy, right? And so when it comes to manifestation, the reason why it's hard for some people to manifest is because their brain and their body aren't actually in alignment to what they're trying to manifest. So even though they're like forcing themselves in a way or convincing themselves that this is what they want to manifest, their body actually isn't aligned with what they're thinking. So when I'm practicing manifestation, I'm not just writing down my goals and desires as if I've already achieved them. I'm feeling those emotions as well. Like, how would it feel to live that life? What would I be doing? What are the feelings I would have? Would I be grateful, abundant, joyful? And what would I be wearing? What would I be eating? Like just being very specific and feeling that in your body is how you practice manifestation. So that's my one of my favorite ways to manifest. And I'll do that in the morning. And then if I have time in my morning routine for manifestation, I will pair this with meditation. You guys know meditation has helped me so much with my healing, with manifesting, with everything. And when it comes to meditation, I usually meditate on things that I'm trying to work on. So for example, for this episode, when I'm trying to manifest something, I'll put on a meditation that's guided. And let's say I'm trying to manifest money, for example, then I'll put like a money manifestation guided meditation on. And then I'll use that as a way to meditate, close my eyes, visualize, feel the emotions and add that into my routine. Now, let's say you're trying to manifest clear skin. A lot of you guys are trying to do that then you would pick a guided meditation off you know, your favorite app and hopefully they have one that's particularly for clear skin. You know, Follow along with what they're saying, visualize it, feel the motion. So it's the same thing when you're scripting. It's just that you're meditating and your eyes are closed. You're still trying to feel in the emotions and really have your brain and your body be in alignment with what you're trying to achieve. Now, the other part of my daily manifestation routine is not only am I practicing this as much as possible, the other thing that's really important is to surrender to the universe. So what this means is when you're trying to manifest something, obviously it's not just going to magically appear like, oh, I want to make a million dollars and then like a million dollars comes in front of you or like, oh, I want my skin to be clear and then it clears next week. Sometimes it happens. I literally have stories of my clients who like, manifest a clear skin or like their skin healing in just one week. So it's totally possible. But what's important during this process is to remember that you have to let go of control. And that is basically what surrendering to the universe means. If you're practicing your manifestations and you're doing the work, it's not up to you to decide when and how the manifestation is going to come. As long as you believe, as long as all of your cells in your body fully believes the things that you're trying to manifest and you put out to the universe that, you know what, this is what I want. And I know for sure I'm going to get it. I don't know when, but I'm going to trust you, the universe, God, or whoever is the higher good. And I'm going to just believe that it's going to happen and release the control of the when and the how. And that's what surrendering is all about. If you put too much control and pressure of the if, when, and how, the harder it is for you to manifest because you're putting out to the universe that, oh, I really want this really bad. I have this desperate need for it. 
And the universe is going to be like, okay, she's very desperate and she wants it really bad, but that just shows that she might not fully trust the process of manifestation. If she fully trusted it, she would be patient and know that things take time to manifest. And, you know, if it was that easy, then everybody would be manifesting amazing things. But if you're putting in the work and you're letting go of the control, first of all, less stressed, and you just trust and believe, then your manifestations are going to come. And also you're going to be more in alignment because you're not going to be in alignment if you're just constantly wondering, okay, is it coming? Is it happening? Why is it not here? Right? And you're more in that lack energy. And we want to not be in that energy if you want to attract. Lastly, I want to finish up this episode about some manifestation scenarios that actually came true. And these are scenarios that I have manifested pretty quickly from using the routine that I share with you guys today. So as you guys know, I am working online. So I'm on the airplane a lot. I'm flying a lot. I'm traveling different countries. And one of the things I've consistently noticed when it comes to me being on the airplane is that every time I have a seat, there's always an empty seat next to me. Like, Okay, not always because, you know, sometimes there isn't, but like 90% of the time, I would say I'm able to get an empty seat next to me. Given when I'm looking at the seats on the plane, they're usually booked out. The airline says that the plane is full, so, you know, you can't move your seat. So then what I usually do when they tell me this, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to believe that there is a chance the seat next to me is going to be empty. And I swear, 90% of the time, there's always an empty seat next to me, which is insane. Because the first time it happened, I was like, okay, maybe this is just luck. And then it happened again, and then again, and then again. And like, it's just been crazy to actually see how my manifestation has come true in front of me when it literally, the airlines are telling me that it's not going to happen. So that's one example of manifesting something pretty quickly. The other example is I actually shared it in a different episode about how I manifested my two-bedroom apartment in Nicaragua when I was there. But there was a whole situation where, you know, my apartment I couldn't get because I couldn't go to Nicaragua due to like a medical thing back in Canada. And then there was no chance of me getting that same apartment because like it was busy and everything was booked up. And then what had happened is that I started to script and meditate on another apartment similar to the one that I lost. And I wanted it to look a certain way. I wanted to have a private pool. I wanted it to be two bedrooms. I wanted it to be a certain price. And then that literally happened. More details about this episode, if you're curious about it, is going to be episode 12, how I manifested my two bedroom apartment. So those are two examples of some manifestation scenarios. And there are a couple other ones where like I've manifested room upgrades when the hotels are fully booked. I've also manifested upgrades with a swim up pool when all those swim up pools are fully booked. So these are just some examples of how manifestation can come into your reality. So that's what I have for today's episode on my daily manifestation routine. And I just want to mention real quick that even though this is the things I do first thing in the morning, I also practice this in the evening as well. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on my Instagram at juliachen.rd. And if you're looking for support when it comes to mindset, manifestation, all things when it comes to healing your eczema, this is what Clear Your Eczema is all about. It's my six-month signature group coaching program that we run. And we have a beautiful community of other people who are in this journey with you. And if you're looking to heal your skin naturally without steroids, then join me inside the program. You can apply at the link below. And please don't forget to leave me a review on Apple iTunes or Spotify. And if you screenshot your review to hello at juliachen.ca, we will send you a free visualization meditation. Okay, that's what I have for today's episode. And love you guys so much. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode. Now, before I let you go, I want to let you know I have this amazing eczema visualization. This visualization has helped me so much when it comes to manifesting eczema healing, healing flares faster than I can ever imagine, reducing the itch, and just feeling great in my body. This is the exact same visualization I use for my own healing as well as my client's healing as well. 
And if you want to receive this visualization, then all you have to do is leave us a review and tell us what you think about the podcast, screenshot it, send it to your email at hello at juliachin.ca and you will receive the visualization to your inbox. I look forward to seeing your review and we'll see you in the next episode. Thank you.